Welcome to a nearly new day in Imperium Galactic Survival Alpha 10 and what I want to do in this part is we're going to cross the lake here and go to my water base to strip out some key assets like the advanced constructor. I also want to retrieve some other supplies and possibly some steel blocks because I am running a little low on steel plates and other resources and the other part and the other thing I want to do in this part is work on the front of the ship because I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable here at the moment so I would like to get at least the main structure finished or the or the main idea of the structure finished in this part now before we take off and cross the water here I want to talk about something that's happened in the last few days that is that the alpha 10.5 update has been released into the experimental branch and that means that probably it will go into the stable branch in about a week or two's time now i've had a look at the release notes they look quite interesting in fact there's some very good concepts in there it's given me a little bit of a dilemma because there's not really enough in there to justify a a restart in the experimental branch so if, if i am going to restart the let's play it will be only once the update hits the stable branch and now there isn't anything in the update that represents a major functional change to the game but there's a couple of interesting concepts which i would like to explore so my inclination is that yes i probably will need to restart the let's play which is a little bit in, in unfortunate now the two concepts that interest me the first is that the talons will mount base attacks if you upset them but they won't actually attack the base and try and capture it what they will do is stand near it and effectively switch off the power now to me that's an interesting concept because if you are already having problems with xerax attacks if the talon are nearby and switch off the power then that means all your base defenses will not be available in in the, in the event of a xerax attack so that's an interesting concept and now the second one is far bigger and to me i think it's an indication of things to come that is the fact that there's now going to be orbital uh, space stations which in this up update that is the 10.5 update they will be owned by the polaris but eventually they will be owned by pirates so it looks very much like the developers are working towards introducing a pirate uh, faction which may operate in space when to me that is a big step forward because at the moment there's not much justification for really tooling up your cv with space weapons because there's not much to fight unless of course you're in multiplayer that is an interesting concept that i want to explore is these new bases and I'll switch on the power and start moving in there and keep an eye on the shields because for some reason these shields keep turning themselves on from time to time because i've got pentaxid which is a little bit annoying anyway i'm just going to take off my inclination is that once the 10.5 update hits the stable branch that i will be starting a new let's play just because i want to have, have a crack at these new orbital space stations so let's just get in here now my main concern is that you can see the difference in size between the capital vessel and the base and i think and oh i've forgotten that i had a small SV there. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll recover that, I think. Oops. Uh, no, maybe we need to go that way. I want to stay as close to the base as possible. It just make the, the transfer of resources a lot easier. Okay, I'm just going to go there. Make sure that shield doesn't start charging up. Turn the light off, and I think before we do anything, I have something to eat. I think we'll just pop a couple of energy bars. And right, let's get back here. And we're just going to walk back this way. And I've made a few changes to the ship on the way through. And I've redone this uh, machine room in preparation for the, the new equipment. I've also, Mad Pollock made a very good suggestion about changing this to purple to fit in with the highlights on the uh, shield generator and i think that works really well i mean it, i think it also muted that glare i've also put in red and green 
uh, doors and colored this red and green as well and that's the represent port and starboard and if any of you, any of you are not too sure what it is is when you face the front of the ship what the red which is port is on the left and green is uh, starboard which is on the right and so I've, I've just done that so I can orientate myself a little bit better and of course it's raining <laughs> it goes without saying I'm just going to drop the ramp down and I've, oh I need to get empty that as well I've forgotten all about that portable constructor and right I think what I want to do to start with is we can we hook to the base Right, I've got the advanced constructor in there, so if I, if I put everything I need into the base one. I don't think I need that much. I think we're going to take the... Okay, here comes the Xerox. I'm going to leave the base there. I think what I'm going to do is jump into the... Uh, what we call it? The SV. We'll use the SV as supplementary defense. Plus, I want to see uh, the base and the capital vessel in action. So, I jump in here. Thrusters on. Actually, just want to check something first. Oh, shields are not on. Okay. Oops. I need to get out here. Right, there's a, it looks very much there's like a troop ship coming in. Okay. I think we've torn uh, we've torn them up quite nicely. Oops. Aha. And I'm gonna drop them. Ah. He actually crashed into the side. Oh get off my ship. Um, uh, we won't get much in the way of loot from this, but oh you never know. Wow, it's a bit better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm just gonna get the ship back in and docked. I think the new having those ramps on the outside are working quite well. And, oh, I've run out of power. Wow. Okay. I've got plenty of pentaxid, so. Oh, that was a bit risky. I didn't realise I was that low on power. And turn the thrusters off. Yeah, what I actually did off camera was I, when I was moving the ship from here, when we ended the previous video, I actually did a stop off here and picked up some Promethium before coming over. So we should be okay with that. Back to what I was doing. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's just snag this ship. I mean, it's not a brilliant ship, but it could be useful, and we might as well just pick it up and shove it in here. I mean, we've got the carry capacity, so turn everything off. Save template last time. Okay. Actually, come to think of it, uh, might pay to do that. <laughs> right, back in again. Hopefully, we will get a little bit of peace and quiet now. And so I pick that up. And what? Right, we've still got the link to right down there. And I'm being cooked by the. I don't think I need anything else. I don't need a shower. I don't need any fuel. Um, I could do with another fridge. Oh, there's anything in there? Okay. Didn't realise there was anything in there. And I think that's about all I want from the. So, what I'm gonna do is just come back into here. 
Sorry, there's a lot of running around, but I think this is the nature. Sometimes when you, you play these survival-based games, I think every survival game I've ever played is and exactly the same problem. Every so often you've got to stop and sort things out. So we've got that there. Uh, we've got the larger structure. We've got a small constructor, repair station, and a fridge. While I'm actually looking, actually, now I'll just, we'll just, just one thing at a time. And what we're going to do now is go in here. I'm just going to rotate that round so that one can go that side. And that one can go that side. Exactly the same, actually, but they're not. Just tell the difference with the console. And I think we're. And we'll just put the repair station there. I can leave a space here, should I? Well, I definitely will when I want the extra RCSs can go there. And we'll put the. There. And the other thing I also want to do, actually, I just come to think of it. Actually, just, just going to hook the fridge into my inventory so that I can do this. Um, chip supplies. I was I was looking at this just before I started, and I, I meant to do it, and I forgot all about it. So, and, and what I want to do is just put in. A, I mean, I've got the space for them. There we are. What I want is these two cargo boxes are going to be used for miscellaneous junk overflow, which I'm sure I'm bound to get. So you've got that area there now. And the next step I'm going to need to do is get back and we're going to need to do the transfers of the resources. So if I stand about here, I should be able to get the base supplies and cargo container so I want to just hook all this up straight back into wow I didn't realize I had that much junk I knew I had some quite a lot of junk on here but I didn't think it was quite that much let me just sort this out a little bit uh, steel blocks don't have that many hardened steel blocks. Oops. Concrete blocks. Well, oh, I've got about thirty-four hardened steel blocks. That there, that can go there, that can go there. I'm not going to take everything out. The force field generators that can go there. And. See, this is what I was saying about the having the junk that can go there. I think that can go in the fridge. Actually, that can go in the fridge as well. And back to the base. Nothing in that fridge. I'll go box one. Uh, capital vessel. And I think this can be. I'm not going to let me rename this, so. Oh, well, we can rename it afterwards. And what I'm going to do is put in weapons and ammo. And that can go in the bridge. That can be ship supplies. Anything else here? That can go there. Cockpit. Uh, trusses that there that can go in there that can go in there I think they can go in there I'm gonna put I think that can go in there that the yeah, hydrogen needs to go in the constructor right back to cargo box one that can just shove all the weapons in and I've got two port. Wow! Didn't realise I had as many port. 
I think that can just go into there. And I think that strips out virtually everything from there. Now, I'm not too sure what I've got in here. Wow, I've got a lot more in here than I thought I had. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Yep. Mm. Oh, yeah. supplies that can go to weapons that can go to cargo and this can now pump this into here and just pick up some more hopefully this will be when you need the two round trips um, That can all go into there. And then we'll just shift click there. And I think the next thing I need to do is we're going to put the fridge out while I'm thinking about it before we start building the main front of the ship. I think this looks really great now. I really, I'm really starting to like this. And as I say, we've got the space for the RCSs. Um, I'm just going to come up here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And just flip that round. And I think we'll just drop that there. And of course, just to make it blend in in a suitable way. And I think that's about it. And now what I do want to do, but I'll probably do it off camera, is I want to... Ah, can't see it. I'm too, right at the front of the ship now. I want to loot out all the steel blocks from that crash ship there. But I think it's now time to start working on this front piece. And do, let's just get everything set up. And ship supplies. Hook you up want the hardened steel blocks and we've got a couple of combat steel blocks and some ordinary steel blocks the one thing i have oh, we got a few windows uh, well I, I don't really want to produce anything until i actually know how much i want so we got seven windows i mean i mean actually if push comes to shove i can actually yeah i think i'm going to do that as well because I don't really need oops I don't really need these armored windows up in here. So if I if I take these out for the moment um no, retrieve the armored windows. I know it makes that look a bit weird, but it will make sense eventually. And um, right this it's time to get serious about here. Now, what I was looking at is this here. This comes out too far. So what I want to do is, I'm just gonna take out these here. In fact, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna go back to a double row like that. And I think we're going to take the door off the top. Oops. And hopefully we'll be able to pick that off. And right, one. So what I want to do is get a slope down in to here, so that the top of this is on a lower level. So maybe we I think that will work. I do one. Actually, if we just go for straight hardened steel blocks across the front here, like this, and then we can just put one, two, three, like that across the front, like this, and I can put the door back in. I'm just gonna. Flip this round, put the door there. 
and I think if I come to here, what I'd like to do is drop this down as well. Because this is now the gonna be the base of the or the roof of the cockpit. So if we if I put Oops, ha <laughs> put it the wrong way round. So maybe if we just go across like that. And of course we're gonna have to fix that. Oops. Take that one out. Back to Not the right way round, yes. If we do that. So that will drop down like that and then if I, I think if I put in one two three across like that two three that now brings this down to here and we're gonna I think we're gonna just have a, a couple of hardened steel blocks just in front like this and now what I want is one out there and then we're going to come one two three one two now that is going to be where I'm going to put another cannon turret there so we can say that that is going to be solid as well what I'd like to do is shape this front piece in and kind of part of me says maybe we need to have well if we put this is going to be combat steel so and then if I come down to now this may all change very quickly because I am quite literally picking this up as I go along so we've now got that area there. So we've now got kind of pincer formation that way. And where's the where's the armored windows? If we change we that's armored windows, that's ordinary windows. Okay, so make sure we get the right ones. And I just want that armoured window there. I mean, I may change it again later on. That is just quite literally a front placer. And we've got. And I think. Um. that if I change that round you can never get these right and then if we rotate that there so if I put in should I put a symmetry plane in yeah I think I'm gonna put a a symmetry plane in. And we're going to have to put this block in by hand. If, we, if I just use up the rest of these here, that means I'm going to have to take out this block here actually I, do I like that or don't I nah I don't like that it's gonna have to go what I want is something coming back as a, at an angle because okay. the combat steel blocks what I'm thinking is you can get a real headache sometimes doing this. 
Um, I've just had a, an idea. No. Maybe this was just the wrong way around. Actually, no. This one? Yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah, I think that fits in much better. If we put one there and one there. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's coming together really nicely. I'm not sure if I want to come out any further than that. I think my one. Oh, we're going to have to come out a little bit further, aren't we? Because I've got to put some blocks there. So if we put another one there, like that. And then... I'm going to snick out these. On each side. So that when I put things in, it will fit. Um... And we're going to do the same. Take these out as well, like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the. Where's all my. Ah, oh, because of course we're putting this. I think what I'm going to do is I, I don't really want to break now to put in the thing. What I'm going to do is do this with steel blocks and then I can always change it because there's a good chance I'm going to change it anyway and I actually quite like that yeah and I think we're going to just rotate like that right we got that there back to here and back to there and I'm just going to rotate nope wrong one again so we've got that in there like that and we've got so that's in there like that back to the steel box The right one. I'm just gonna drop that in there and that in there like that. That comes out over there. And that fits in in oh aha. Okay. Back to we're going to come there. We're going to come back to... Oops. One reason why I don't like the pla uh, the plane of symmetry. Because when you make a mistake, it duplicates your mistakes as well. Um, I'm not so sure about that. It's, it's, my inclination is that maybe... We, we don't need that. Let me just take these out. Again. Maybe I've come back a little bit too far. I'm just going to snick those off. And... I'm just going to drop in those. And I'm just going to rotate you in. Like that. So that brings that in there and then what we're going to do is again I don't have a lot in the way of um, ah never too sure about the glass here I'm going to have to gonna get a little bit creative is that the right way around? yep right we're not going to So that's that glass fitted in there. Um, 
Right, we've got a few more panes of glass. I'll just, we'll just have to use the ordinary glass again. If it works, I can always replace it. just have a look at the cockpit. I'm just going to turn off the symmetry plane. Just jump in. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, we could do something with the front. So that, I mean, it'd be nice to have something that points downwards here. And let me just see, we've got one more pane of glass. So let me just take out that and hey. I'm just gonna maybe I'll just have a glass like that that fits in that area there we're gonna have to shape in this area I quite like that effect around the front. It's not the usual kind of triangle, triangle, triangle type look. And, and again, I think we can just shape this in. Maybe we'll just drop this in, whoops. Um, it will just be yeah, sitting like that. I mean, I'll probably put another layer on here to fit into this, but it might be thin items rather than the that's in the wrong place. So, uh, take that out. Oh. I haven't got the symmetry plane on the way. Ha ha ha. Not important. Not important at all. Because I can I can fix this in my own way. Um I think we can put in another one. Put the symmetry plane back on. Luckily, it's remembered what I was doing. I do is just to take that one in there. I think that will work there, and then we can just put another block in there. And now this corner could be fun. And I think. Uh, Just drop this in here like that. Or was that too sharp? And that fits over the top of this one, isn't it? Unless we can make a, a shallower. Uh, I mean, let me just. Right. Sorry about this, I'm going to take the symmetry plane off again. I'm going to take this out. And what I would like is something here. Maybe if we once I would like something to come out at a very shallow angle. And we could put something totally different there, it's like a curve or something like that. But then the problem is that it's very nice doing all these kind of uh, intricate shapes. It's just that eventually you end up with a shape that you can't fit into and then it just looks a bit odd. Um, in the corner. You're the big corner. 
you're the small crawler. So that's the one I had before. I wouldn't mind is something that like that, but it comes up with from a half block perspective. Something. Let's try that from above. I mean, something like that would be great. It would create a cut angle there, like that. Then again, I mean, would that fit if we could fit this into something? And then, can I get this? Will this fit? that would then fit in there and I mean it's going to make the front vulnerable but at the same time I mean am I going to be really fighting left right and center and then what we could do is drop in that like that And we can put another small block there. So we can merge this in and then I get but that in like that actually what I could do then is if I I take this block out like that oops what we could do then is put something like that in there I mean, it'd be really nice to clip this corner off, but I think I could live with that. And then we can blend this somehow into this area. Let me just see if I can blend anything in here. And what I'm looking for is something that will what can we do here? Actually, this might work. That's no, that's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Then that will blend into there. That actually creates an effect there. And then we can then blend this block into here and oops and then what I could do is we can what I can do is put in say a block like that and a block like that and then we can find something that will blend in this corner and and i've just noticed the time so this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting i'll be very interested in any of your guys opinions on the 10.5 update i'll be interested to know whether you're going to restart again and go for those orbital space stations and maybe upset the talon and make their life a bit of a misery but this is where i'm gonna leave it until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming